name's Zach, but everyone just calls me Ranger Zach. This is my wife, Corey. She runs the camera. We have a daughter. Make that two daughters. And this is my dog, Dose. I also play a pretty mean guitar. For the last 10 years, I've been a real life park ranger, protecting wildlife, fighting forest fires, rescuing lost hikers, and doing all sorts of cool stuff along the way. Now I'm here to teach you everything that you need to know to be a real life park ranger too. Ever wanna know what makes a tree grow tall? A white turtle wears a shell on its back. To get your hiking boots and a walking stick, come along with Ranger Zach. Come along with Ranger Zach. It's the Ranger Zach Show. Welcome back to the Ranger Zach Show, everybody. Today we're going on a hunt. A hunt for an ancient creature. This creature is full of mystery. It has no eyes, no ears, and no teeth but a very powerful mouth. This creature lives deep underground and comes out at night, at night to feast on. Well, it just eats leaves. We're looking for earthworms today. So where do we find earthworms? Good question. Earthworms live underground and can be found just about anywhere that the soil stays nice and wet. They prefer cool and dark places like under this rock. Let's flip it over and try our luck. Oh, cool, look at all of them. Do you remember what a hypothesis is? A hypothesis is an educated guess. I want you to make a hypothesis on why you think earthworms live under rocks and logs. I'll give you a second to think about it. Okay, Junior Rangers, have you made your hypothesis? I can think of three reasons. The first reason is this. Unlike us who breathe in through our nose, and fill our lungs with air. Earthworms breathe in through their skin. Living in cool, dark places protects them from the hot, dry sun. If earthworms are in the sun too long, their skin will dry out and they can't breathe. The second reason I can think of that earthworms like to live under rocks and logs is because they feed on organic matter. Does anyone remember what organic matter was? Remember, organic matter is just a fancy name for things that were living or were once living. In the case of earthworms, they're interested in the things that were once living. And that's because they eat bits of dead leaves and plants, which you can always find under a log. As earthworms eat these bits of plants, they help return nutrients back into the soil. Oh, hey, there's one. Got him. Here's your Ranger Zach fun fact. The longest earthworm ever found was 25 feet long. 25 feet. Don't know how long 25 feet is? Here, let me show you. Hold this. So long! This has been your Rangers Act Fun Fact.
the third and final reason that I can think of why worms like to live under rocks and logs is for protection from animals that may want to eat them. Can you think of an animal that loves to eat worms? I'll give you a hint. It lives right here in this creek. If you guess frog, you're right. Frogs love to eat worms and there's plenty of wet soil for worms to live and frogs to hunt near a creek. But frogs aren't the only ones that like to eat worms. Birds, fish, toads, moles, even raccoons all find worms to be a tasty treat. Yum, yum. Let's recap what we learned today. We learned that when hunting worms, looking under rocks and logs is a great place to start. This is because rocks offer protection from the sun, there's plenty of food to eat underneath logs, and both rocks and logs offer safe places to hide from hungry predators. Yum, yum. I'm gonna go meet up with some junior park rangers to work on our observation skills, and you can come too. Let's go. Okay, Junior Rangers, we are going to work on our observation skills. Everybody say, observation. observation is a fancy word for using your senses and your thinking skills to explore the world around you. So I'm going to put something in front of you, and the first observation skill that you're going to use is your hawk eyes. Everyone show me hawk eyes. So whatever I put in front of you, use your eyes and describe what it looks like. Okay, are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay, stay there. Close your eyes. Okay, Junior Rangers. Use your observation skills and describe what these worms look like. Look like they're going really fast. Some, yeah, some are covered. They're... Uh, hey, hey, I'm gonna sit down. They look a little bit long. They look long. That is a very good observation. Some look small and big. Some look small and some look big. Some very look good big. observation. Also, thin and thick. Yeah. Some are thin, some are thick. They look like kind of Yes. I see rattlesnakes. They look like rattlesnakes. Yeah. Almost. Are, are they earthworms? These are earthworms. Very good. Yes, they are. These types of earthworms are called night crawlers. Okay, Junior Rangers, our next observation skill is using our raccoon hands. Show me raccoon hands. <laughs> Go ahead and pick up a worm. Use your observation yeah. skill to tell me what you think they feel like. They feel like slime. They feel like slime. They feel like so slime. I love it. Now remember from our lesson, earthworm skin has to stay nice and wet so that it doesn't dry out by the hot sun. This is because earthworms like breathe here. through their skin. Okay, Junior Rangers, we are going to use our last observation skill. This observation skill is called your toad tongue. Let's give these a taste. No, no I don't want to eat. Are you sure? Just kidding. Oh. Did you enjoy 
using your observation skills as much as I did? Great job, Junior Rangers. Let's head back to the ranger station. Guess this little friend of mine, he always shows up late. Don't blame him, he ain't got no legs and can't walk very straight. Oh, guess this little friend of mine, he ain't been to the dentist in a mighty long while. But it's okay, he doesn't have any teeth, but he still can't crack a smile. He's my friend, I don't mean to make you squirm. He ain't that cute, but he sure is a hoot. You guessed it, he's a worm. Squiggle, swaggle, squiggle, swaggle, squeak. Squiggle for you, squiggle for me. Squiggle, swaggle, squiggle, squaggle, squim. Squiggle for her and a squiggle for him. Squiggle, swaggle, squiggle, squaggle, squad. Squiggle for mom, squiggle for dad. Squiggle, swaggle, squiggle, squaggle, squam. Squiggle and songs, I do the squiggle dance. Ooh. Yes, this little friend of mine lives down in the ground. Late at night when the moon comes up, you know who comes around. Oh, guess this little friend of mine. He feeds on rotten things. He's very polite and Offered me some, I said thanks, but I'd rather sing. He's my friend. I don't mean to make you squirm. He ain't that cute, but he sure is a hoot. You guessed it, he's a worm. Squiggle, squaggle, squiggle, squaggle, squeak. Squiggle for you, squiggle for me. Squiggle, squaggle, squiggle, squaggle, squim. Squiggle for her and a squiggle for him. Squiggle, squaggle, squiggle, squaggle, squag. Squiggle for mom, squiggle for dad. Squiggle, squaggle, squiggle, squaggle, squams. Squiggle and sponsor so do the squiggle dance. Ooh, 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 ooh. Squiggle, squaggle, squiggle, squaggle, squeak. Squiggle for you. Squiggle for me, squiggle, squaggle, squiggle, squaggle, squim. Squiggle for her and squiggle for him. Squiggle, squaggle, squiggle, squaggle, squag. Squiggle for mom, squiggle for dad. Squiggle, squaggle, squiggle, squaggle, squam. Squiggle and swung, so do the squiggle dance. Ooh. It sure was fun playing with those worms. What did you think, Dose? Oh yeah, hey, thanks for reminding me. Dose says we gotta do the Junior Ranger Challenge. This week's Junior Ranger Challenge is to look under some rocks or logs and tell me what you find. Make sure to tag me in a picture of your adventure at the Rangers Act Show on Instagram for a chance to be featured as our Junior Ranger of the Week. Now let's do the Ranger Roundup. This week's question comes from Kane, who's all the way from the state of New York. Let's see what he has to say. Hey, when I'm ready. When you say action, when I say action, we're going to do it. One, two, three, four. Hey Ranger Sack, can you find dinosaur bones in the dirt? Wow Kane, that is one cool collection. And yes, you can find dinosaur bones in the dirt. These are called fossils. But finding fossils takes a lot of patience and a lot of hard work. One time when I was your age, I found the fossilized tusk of a prehistoric walrus. It was so cool! You know, I love looking for fossils so much that I think I'm going to do a whole episode on fossils next week. So make sure you tune in to the Rangers Act Show every Monday for new episodes. Thanks for the idea, Kane. It would mean a whole lot to me and Dose if you subscribe to our channel 
hit the like button, and told all your friends about the Ranger Zack Show. Just remember, Junior Rangers, there's a world of adventure right outside your door, so get out there and go explore. This is Ranger Zack and Dose, over and out.